If you want to build generative AI application, then as of now you had only two options. Either you can use a Langchain framework or you can use Llama Index framework. And all these frameworks are written in Python. So if you want to build an, any application on generative AI, then you have to be aware of Python. But what if, if you are a Java developer and you have a background in Spring Boot? Can't we write any generative AI application using Spring Boot? That's where the Spring AI coming into picture. So Spring AI provides you the flexibility where we can generate generative AI application using Spring Boot and Java. So as of now, this particular framework can work with OpenAI and it can also work with Azure OpenAI, which is an enterprise version of OpenAI. So in this video, we are going to create an application using Spring AI and internally it's going to use OpenAI so that we can use generative AI models offered from OpenAI and we are going to create two kind of application where we would be using OpenAI to generate tokens based on the given topic and then we will also try to structure an output in the JSON format. So for that we are going to create some endpoint. So let's get started on this. So one thing I just wanted to highlight there is in repo for Spring AI and we have to refer dependencies from this repo only because this is still in experimental phase and here in this Spring repo like you can get the complete documentation if you want to try it out something you can clone the repo and then try it out there is a complete documentation on this you can just click on this link and it will give you the complete documentation of Spring AI and once you go into this you can also find a lot of concepts the models and the prompts so all these concepts are for AI but if you want to just get started then what exactly you have to do what kind of dependency you have to add what kind of models has been offered as of now like OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Hugging Face which is an open source model then Bedrock from AWS all these models are offered as of now so you can try it out and also there is some project list that if you want to try it out you can you can do that as well some sample projects at the end as well and after that so under the Spring AI API there are several things that we can try on if you have some idea about generative AI space then you should be aware of all these terms vector databases prompts chat clients output passers and all those things there is a lot to explore you can go through all this documentation and you can get to know about a spring AI API so let's get started on this so first of all what exactly you need to do so first of all you need to have an open AI API key so for that you can come to this particular website you can log in here and after that it will route you to check GPT and API because we are going to leverage API so we have to click on API if you already have an account then that's good if you don't have it probably you have to sign up and once you go to this page then you can click over here and here you click on API keys as you can see like I already have one API key over here and I do have a paid account so if you're logging in first time you would be getting some kind of you know some kind of free tokens that you can utilize for some times but if you don't have th then you can also switch it to paid mode uh, the charges are not going to be much and anytime like you can come to this one and you can create a new secret key in my case a secret key is already enabled so I'm not going to create any new one probably like in your case you're logging first time you won't be getting this kind of key so what you have to do you just have to click on this create new secret key and it will generate a key for you key like this but one thing to remember like as soon as you are getting a key you just have to copy paste it and probably just store it somewhere safe because uh, after that you are not going to get a complete key if you're logging it again then you are going to get something like this and it's not a complete key if you have forgotten that key you don't have information about your key then one more thing what you can do you can generate a new secret key and delete this key from here at this time I cannot delete this key because I haven't generated a new one so once you get your key then step one is done and after that like we just have to create a spring project so I am just on the star.spring.io and after that you just have to provide some names over here and after that you can just select your project whether you want to build it using Gradle or Maven I'm selecting Maven then language Java and after that packaging and Java only one dependency we have to add it from here which is going to be spring web we are we are trying to create an endpoint and as soon as someone is hitting that endpoint then we are going to get a response accordingly at this dependency and other dependencies which is required from spring AI that is not available over here because as I said it's, it's still in experimental phase so if I search for something for the spring AI it's not going to come from here 
here so you can generate a project from here and after that like you can just import it on this i have already created components over here some classes over here so i will just walk over it so once your project has been built on your intellij so first thing what you need to do you have to go to your pom.xml and as shown on this particular repo we need to see okay from which repositories we have to fetch the spring ai dependency because it is still in experimental phase and this could change also so that's why i always refer this particular github repo and here you can see first of all actually we have to add this this repository so, so from here only our spring ai de dependency is going to get fetched so we have to add this particular repository in our palm.xml and that's what i did over here you can see i have added this repository and after that we can go for the dependency so you can see there is one for azure open ai because we are using only open ai so we have to add this particular dependency so again just copy it from here look look for the version number it can get changed because they are still developing it always take the dependency from here this is for main branch and then there is a snapshot branch also so you can see the main branch has moved to version 0.8.0 snapshot it will be unstable for a week or two okay and then it's suggesting please use 0.7.1 snapshot if you do want want to be on the bleeding edge as suggested i'm going to take the dependency from 0.7.1 snapshot and as i'm using open ai so i'm going to use this dependency i'm going to just copy it and then i'm going to just paste it over here so it now it will cover all of our dependencies like only this dependency we have to add to use spring ai so one is the repository from where this dependency is going to get fetched and then we just have to add dependency if you don't add the repository and if you just add this dependency please do know that you are going to get an error so once your dependency section is done you can just check it from maven you can just sync it after adding dependency and see like whether everything is looking good and once this is done then you can come over here here you can see once you import this project you are going to get only this particular application the main one but you have to add two folder over here one is for controller and one is for service so controller would help us to create an endpoint so that uh, any user can come hit that endpoint and get the generated ai response and then another thing we have to create is the service folder so once you have created this folder you can create a class under this to create a class you can just go to new and then java class you can give name whatever you want i have given ai controller for uh, creating my endpoint and ai services for my you know service class so before writing any code on this what you have to do you have to come to application dot properties and whatever key that you have generated you have to mention over here you can see like i am using spring dot ai open ai dot api key and then i'm just passing as an environment variable either you can just directly put your keys over here or you can just define it your environment variable i will go to my environment variable you can check over here and you can see here i do have my open ai api key it's going to take that key from my environment variable once you have defined the keys in properties then we can go ahead and work on our services in this service I have just written like two methods but you can see like I have auto wired this AI client and as shown in the diagram also we need to use this AI client because this provide an interface to write all this generative AI code so first of all actually you have to uh, auto wire this AI client and you can see this AI client is coming from that AI client dot AI client so once you get this AI client then so it would be very easy for us to invoke uh, that is spring AI methods first method is very simple where actually I'm just passing a topic and under this topic I'm just asking provide me some joke for this particular topic right and you can see like I'm using prompt template because here I'm passing a prompt so again if I go to my diagram then you can see in methods whatever we have used one is like prompt template it this particular method would help us to generate a prompt or to create a custom prompt and prompting is very important for generative AI space as you know what I've asked could you please act as a funny person and create a joke on the given topic you can just write whatever you want like if you want to to tune this prompting then you can do it so here i'm just creating object for prompt template and after that i'm just adding a topic so because here you can see this topic is a variable and this is the topic that which we are going to pass to our method so this topic is passing as a variable but after that we have to add this topic so whatever variable actually we are passing over here we have to pass a value for that so for that we are using prompt template dot add method and at the last 
what we are doing to generate a response on this one we are going to have a series of methods so for ai client under that ai client we are going to call generate and under generate the get generation and get generation is get text so this is what we are we are doing over here so ai client we have to generate response based on this topic so this is our generate method under that we are using prompt template dot create then we are calling get generation and at the end we are calling get text so we have created this method now actually we have to create an endpoint on top of this method that's why we have to go to our controller class and in this controller class just like any endpoint we are just defining risk controller then there is a request mapping just to give a base a path for this particular endpoint and after that you can see we are using ai service so ai service is the same class which we have just covered so we are just auto wiring that ai service and after that i am just creating one endpoint which is going to point to joke and under this joke endpoint we are going to pass this request parameter which is going to be topic and i'm just invoking this ai service dot get joke by passing this topic variable okay so i guess our first method is done so let me try to run this and see like what response we get so i have just uh, started running this and i can see it's there so just to invoke this what i'm going to do i'm going to open my postman and under postman we do have base url like api then v1 and then we do have joke let me just reconfirm it once yeah so i do have joke and after that you know as you know like we have to pass a topic right and uh, that topic variable name is going to be topic only so i mean i'm going to pass a topic and then for this topic i am just going to pass maybe software engineer right so i want spring ai to generate a joke message for software engineer so let me try to run this and you can see i have got some message so let's read it sure here's the light hearted joke for you why did the software engineer go broke because they kept trying to debug their bank account let's try some other topic let me just try to see bug why did the bug bring a suitcase to the picnic? Because it heard there would be an ant at the party and it wanted to luggage them away. Okay, so these are the things you can try on. Other method, what I have developed, it is just to show you some kind of structured response. What I am asking it to generate output in the JSON format, again, based on the given criteria. So my prompting is a bit different over here. What I'm asking in this case, okay, please provide me best book for the given category and the year. And you can notice like this category and and year is a variable so please do provide a summary of the book as well the information should be limited and not much in depth whatever book it is going to recommend me i just want like some kind of summary of that book and also i have just mentioned over here please provide the details in the json format containing this information category year review author and summary so i'm asking like whatever book you are recommending i need a json output for that and in the output i should be having all these fields category year review author and summary as a key and you can see like here we do have two variables category and year so that's why i have added it in using the prompt template uh, similar to what we have done in the topic one so we have category and we do have year and after that same thing we have to use this generate and get generation and get text method so similarly uh, th this is what i'm doing over here but it's just that like instead of writing everything in single line I just and for this again we have to go to our controller class and have to pass this two parameter string category and year and after that you can see like we have created another endpoint which is going to be books and we have to pass these two things in our AI service method so let me try to invoke this endpoint and see what we get so I'm just calling books and here we do have to pass two parameters one is uh, category and one is year so category I'm passing as software and year I'm passing 2023 okay I have misspelled this so this is going to be category and this is year let me try to run this okay so let me convert it into JSON and you can see the output is coming like this we have got software 2023 review is an excellent resource for software developers john smith is the author and there is a summary for this particular book right let me try to write cloud again let me convert it to json and see cloud computing 2023 review is highly recommend author john smith and summary yeah so we have got our desired output 
So this was the demo for, for the Spring AI. You can go ahead and play around with this. I will link all this code in the description so that like you can quickly import it and just play around with this and you don't have to set up everything from scratch. If you do have any question, please write down in the comment and I will be there to help you guys. Yeah, that's that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.